It's another Jubal phone tap. 107.3 KFFM. Hello? Hi, this is Bill Rosewood. I'm calling from Market. I was looking for Christina. This is Christina. Hi, Christina. You came into our store the other day with your son to apologize about him stealing a candy bar while you were shopping. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't... I, I was shopping. I didn't even notice that, that, that he put it in his pocket. And Completely. I, you know I, what, Christina? It happens all the time, and not enough parents are like you. Not enough parents will bring the child back and fess up to the fact that they stole something, and we appreciate that. Yeah, you know, it was just the right thing to do, and I, we just wanted to make an example of... Uh, of the situation so that he would learn from it. You well, know? It's good to let them learn these lessons early, you know, before they grow up to be hardened criminals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, one day it's a candy bar at a grocery store. The next thing you know, he's serving 15 to life in San Quentin, sharing a shower with a guy named Zeke. <laughs> uh, um, well, sure. Uh, that was obviously a little bit of an exaggeration there, but you get my Yeah, point. obviously. Yeah. So anyway... The reason I'm calling you is that we feel it's important that we do our part to teach your son a lesson as well. I think he's, he's, he's really learned his lesson. I think. Well, we sort of have to respectfully disagree with you, and that's why I'm calling to let you know that we will be pressing charges. Excuse me? We plan to prosecute. You're going to what? You know my son is six years old, right? Yes, and we feel the same way that you do. Never too young to learn a lesson. He's six. Yes. And he needs to be taught a lesson. That's why I'm he letting... He was taught a lesson. He came in. He apologized. He knows now not to take a candy bar. Everyone at your store seemed very appreciative of the fact that he stood up to what he did. Right. And that's it. This is the kind of enabling behavior that I hoped I wouldn't run into when I called you because I was hoping you'd be supportive. Excuse I'm in no way enabling my son. He's six years old. He doesn't deserve prosecuting and charges because of a candy bar. That's ridiculous. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer was six once. My son isn't killing cats in alleys. My son took a candy bar, didn't even know that that was wrong, really. Now he knows. That's it. I just we wanted, apologize. I just wanted to point out that there are other criminals that were once six years old, and if you don't stop it now... Trust me, we've stopped it. You're raising a little deviant. I am not raising a deviant. You're blowing this out of proportion. What is wrong with you? I'm trying to help society. Society? What are you talking about? You're trying to prosecute a six old you idiot i'm trying to get some of the scum off the streets that's all i want to do well you're scum you're the scum let me ask you this when he steals a truck full of cigarettes and tries to sell it on the black market are you gonna be saying the same thing what do you think this is breaking bad he's six it's a freaking candy bar this is harassment at this point all right well listen that's all for the police to figure out i'm just letting you know that we want to press charges and i'm assuming if you're going to try to hide your son from us and stick up from him you'll probably face charges as well this is really awful. I can't even believe this is happening right now. Regardless, he's probably going to spend the night in jail. He's not, are you kidding me? And I'm not talking about a jail for juveniles. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning doing a phone tap on you. What? Your friend Kathleen set you up. Kathleen? Yeah. She told us about the incident at the grocery store and wanted to scare you a little bit. <laughs> Oh my God. Did you really think that your six-year-old son was going to be prosecuted by the grocery store that he stole a candy bar from? I don't know. I don't know. He's <laughs> here from the store. You're going to call and you're going to put him in, like, adult jail. <laughs> with tiny little handcuffs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jubal phone taps. Catch him every weekday with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 107.3 KFFM.